Well, good day. Welcome back to Clean Chic Outdoors. I am on beautiful Lake Winnipeg, but I'm not where you'd normally expect somebody to be when they're on Lake Winnipeg. When you talk about Lake Winnipeg, you talk about the South Basin and this like big bowl of featureless water. And I know there's obviously some structure there too. I'm just saying it's featureless because it's for the most part is, don't get mad. But today I'm up at Gull Harbor on Hecla Island. So it's like, not I wouldn't consider the north end of Lake Winnipeg, more in the middle, but I guess more the north basin of Lake Winnipeg. Gull Harbor just recently uh, opened up their accommodations for winter this year. So it's not very popular yet. And I mean not popular yet. There's nobody. Like, I see one shack out there. I know where I'm going. I'm sure I'm gonna see some more people, but there's nobody here. So I'm gonna go out. First, I'm gonna stop at the little store they got here and pick up some bait and then head out and see what I can find. I have no idea what to really expect. I've been told really good numbers up here in this area. I'm not the first person to fish here, don't get me wrong, but uh, there's not a lot of pressure from what I can see. So I am outside of the Gull Harbor store right here. Fuel, I've been told the only place on Heckle Island you can get fuel. And look at this, they've got snowmobiles for rent and two snow bears that I've been told it's like, everything's fully equipped, like your flashers, your rods, everything. You just gotta book it, and show up and go fishing. I know they have some discounts. I believe for March, there's still opportunity. I'm telling you in the next few years, this place is gonna get very popular. So you might as well get here before the rush. Like gorgeous. It feels like I'm like further north, yet I'm only, I'm only like an hour and a half north of Winnipeg. But it just feels like I'm, I'm in the north. Okay, fishing out on the lake. I'll actually show you guys quickly here on the map a little bit of where I am. I just came out here, is what they call the North Point area, I believe. That's where I came from. Nothing uh, super crazy. But what I did was pop the hole, almost stepped in it, pop the hole right here. And then I, every 30 feet, I kept popping holes. First hole was 36 feet, 35, 35, 34, 32, and then all of a sudden 26. So it's like, bang, found that drop off, right? I don't want to be in 36. I want to be somewhere in that probably, I don't know, 30 to 15 feet, but at least I'm on the drop off there now. So I have an idea where it is. So I'm going to start there, probably in the 26 feet, drop down, see if I mark anything, see what's going on. Okay, well, I'm recording everywhere. I'm going to start with a rattle bait. And then once I start to mark some fish, or say if I mark fish, I'm not catching them. I'll drill another hole beside me and fish uh, a jig and a minnow as well and a dead stick that I can kind of work if I need to. I got a mark right here at 21 feet, which I'm assuming is bait. We're gonna we're gonna fish all the marks because I know the South Basin. I know you catch suspended walleye all the time, so I have no idea if it's gonna be the same situation out here. But I'm gonna go up the suspended marks and at least give them a little bit of a shot for sure. I have to give, get my minnows out from the back here and get them in the hole and get them thawing out a bit. No, I think we're gonna try a spoon. I think we're gonna try a spoon. Had a few lookers at the rattle baits, rattle bait, no takers. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm definitely getting some marks though here. So I'm not gonna give up on this spot yet. We're just gonna switch up baits first. Medium dinner bell spoon tipped with like a, a minnow head, maybe half a minnow type of thing. We'll try that first. Oh, there's definitely a mark there. Come on. Here it comes. There we go. Got him. Got him. Finally, I just like pounded it really, really hard right on the spot. And that's what got that fish to eat. Doesn't feel big. Doesn't feel big. But it's my first fish of the day. Oh, these, I always forget how light these fish are colored. That, you know, they call them the greenbacks, right? Like, they always surprise me when I first see them. 
It's been a while since I've seen one. It's twisted. I'm barbless, but I'm tw twisted in the skin. Look at it. It's not even hooked right now. But yes, greenback. First one, about a 15 inch or something like that. Just a different fish from what I'm used to. Okay, first one, ate a dinner bell spoon. And I, you know, I was trying a couple different techniques. I had some marks, I was leaving it there, nothing. They work it aggressively, they wouldn't eat it. I was like, all of a sudden I just like twitch it on the spot, like really, really hard, really fast. And that's what triggered that fish. So there's my fish going down right now. The one I caught, it's going all the way back down. So we know he is nice and healthy. Dinner bell strikes again. Strikes again. Okay. It's definitely a start. Start to the day. Well, we're on the board with the greenback. Like I said, those fish always surprise me. That's how light colored they are, right? And that's the, the limestone in the lake, they say, that gives those fish that translucent greenish color. It's so weird there. I always thought in pictures, like unless the light's perfect, they always look pretty bland, almost like a, a river fish. But when you see them in person, they actually look pretty, pretty cool. Come on, here we go. Oh yes. That fish came in from a little bit higher, like two feet up probably came down. So I wonder if, I wonder if I need to be a little bit shallower maybe. Doesn't feel very big either. I'm on my transducer right now a little bit. There we go. Like I said, doesn't feel very, very big. It'd be one of them perfect eaters. Perfect eaters. Smells like a walleye, that's for sure. You smell like a walleye. You may look green, but you smell like a walleye. Oh yeah, smells like a walleye. Fish number two. Oh, that mark charged me. Come on. It charged me, didn't hit it. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's, yeah, Clayton. Clayton, that was my fault. That was my fault. He definitely put his mouth on it for a second. I, oh, here it comes again, though. Here it comes again. He's gonna give me a third chance, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I missed him the second time. Not that I missed him. I didn't really try to set the hook. I just, I, I could have. I, I knew I could have. I think what I'm gonna actually do, too, is I'm gonna drill. Since I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna drill two more holes. I'm gonna drill a transducer hole. So I don't have to mess with it and I'm gonna drill a dead stick hole now that I've I like where I am. I don't see any reason to move to be honest with you. That's fish three. Nothing big yet, but who am I to know that they're not gonna where are you hooked funny? There we go. Like I said, fish three, not gonna move, just gonna tough it out. He's a little guy. Hopefully they get bigger, bigger than that. But yeah, I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna I'm gonna camp out here for a while. So I'm gonna drill a transducer hole here and then a dead stick hole there. I don't have to mess with the flasher at all then in terms of lifting it out of the hole. And I can monitor both hooks. Yeah, let's get to let's get to work here. I think I'm good to go. I got three holes now, one for the flasher, one for an active bait, one for the dead stick. I'm gonna start with the jig and a minnow here. And yeah, I'm liking this. My goodness, I gotta hold the thaw of my minnows too, which is beautiful. I think one of the nicest things about this is I'm literally like, I don't know, two minutes from the from my cabin. Like, if you wanted to run in for a lunch there, they do serve uh, a restaurant there. I believe it's open from 11 to, 11 till nine, I wanna say. It's quite nice. The cabins there, you can, I have one cabin that you can cook in and the other ones are kind of like a hotel style cabin there with a little fridge, coffee maker, microwave. So yeah, I got a fish coming up already off the bottom. Oh, 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 there's a mark. There's a mark. Yeah. Oh no, Clayton. 
Oh, it's still aggressive though. It's still aggressive. Look at him up here. No, I missed him. Oh, he's coming up though, I think. Yeah, here he comes, here he comes. Just give me another chance. Give me another chance. Okay, well, I like that these fish aren't so smart. Give me a little, give me a second chance. This one feels a little bit better. Not a monster, but definitely better than what I've caught so far, I'd say. Big head shakes. I was gonna say it almost felt like a, a burbot type of thing, but no, it's just a nice walleye. Nice greenback. There's another fish down there right now. Settle down, girl. Top lip. Beautiful fish. Their shimmer is so cool. I know it's never gonna show up on video that well, but their shimmer. Okay, I'll let, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you down the middle hole. How about there? This one coming up to the dead stick too. Oh, oh, it ate it. It ate it. It ate it. Yeah, double header. Double header. Double! I think that's considered a double, right? I know I didn't catch it at the same time, but it was pretty close to the same time. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. So, every other fish, super green. This one, way darker. What's up with that? That one almost looks like a Saskatchewan walleye that I fished for at times. Crazy. Okay, so I've got no bait down there right now, as in no lures. Five fish, action is steady. Steady, steady, steady. Here we go. That thing, you know what? Hate to say it, but it was on me for about, probably about half a second to a second sooner than I realized it charged up, but it just come up and just took my spoon and slack lined me. A little bit nicer fish right there. A little bit nicer fish. They've been a little bit more finicky since I had that double header. Got water on my flasher now. Easy girl. Boy, whatever you are. Oh, just spit my minnow out too. A little bit nicer fish right there. Greenbacks. Oh, they're fun. They're fun. They are fun. We're gonna try a little hyper rattle for a little bit. No bait. We'll see what happens with that. Fish seven's a little sauger on the hyper rattle though. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he slack line me again. Remember earlier I said they slack line me? Same thing. They hit it on the way up and it's like, you don't feel it except for all of a sudden your line goes a little bit slack. That's, when they slack line you, they're, they're pretty aggressive. Just hitting it straight up, coming straight at you. Easy, easy. Fish, what is that? Fish eight of the day. Nice, putting a, putting a good licking on him. That was on the hyper rattle again with uh, no bait. Oh, he's totally on there. There we go. I saw him, I was just dropping down the hyper rattle. I saw the dead stick kind of wave just a little bit. So I reached over and I gave it a little tap. And that triggered him to bite it. What do we got here? What do we got here? Feels a little bit better. Not bad, not bad. Not a monster, but not bad. That's a, actually, that's a pretty good fish. I would never keep that one to eat. That's, that's a prime breeder right there. Too big. Too big, <laughs> Yeah, I know, you're hardly hooked, fell out easy. That's a nice fish. Here we go. It's like a 22 incher. A little bit better, a little bit better. It's good, it's good. Oh, jigging a minnow strikes, jigging a minnow. So I thought there'd be a little bit more current, so I'm using a little bit too big of a jig, maybe I might switch it in a bit. It's a quarter ounce. But all I'm doing is I'm taking my minnow there's no right way to hook these or there's no wrong ways there's a bunch of different ways i just like to make mine pretty clean i'm doing a side hook i'm going through the eye through the eye sliding down the shank and this little acme uh acme jig here kalen's i guess actually has a little kind of a bait keeper there i'm sliding it past there and then i'm lining it up to kind of where it looks like it would go through the body i'll put it through the body there and then i'll just let it sit there 
nice and horizontal. I'll take my knot, slide it to the back. So when it sits in the water, it sits fairly horizontal, which I think is probably the biggest key more than anything, whether you, you're you gonna take your jig or your minnow and you're gonna put it through the, the head and have it sit. So it's like, looks like it's just sitting there hovering or like I said, I've got mine sideways. I think the biggest thing is horizontal. Kind of stumbled around there for what I wanted to say, but I think you guys got the, the gist of it anyway. Oh, yeah, he's on it. We'll just let him eat it for a second and then hit him. There's, like I said, there's no right way to do that. You could hit him right away sometimes and be good, but if they grab that back half of that minnow, a lot of times you're just gonna rip it right out of their mouth. Nice, nice. Easy, look at that, right in the top lip. Barbless jig comes out so simple. There we go. We're getting to a little bit better average size here now anyway. Look at that, look at that, holy. Just rocketed it, like. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen walleye so aggressive in terms of chasing, chasing up off the bottom. Like that's in, and that's they're nice fish too. Like I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot smaller, like maybe even like a sauger or something. The way it, how aggressive it was, uh, that's insane how aggressive that fish was. Like and just hammered that bait. No, not using any bait either crushed me easy girl crushed me like that thing was like straight up like fast oh here we go almost slipped coming up to me or the dead stick out to me see if i can get it again look at that look at that holy crazy <laughs> okay Maybe I found something, something to trigger these fish. They want it going away from them fast. As soon as I stopped, he stopped, but I, I sped up and kept going and it chased it and crushed it. Hyper rattles, best part is no bait. What an aggressive bite, holy. I don't know if I've ever experienced that aggressive of walleye before, like insane. Insane aggressive. Whoa, easy girl. Easy. Back down you go. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever experienced that aggressive of a bite. Crazy. Look at, there he is swimming back down. Did it all the way back down. Going down to the bottom of the pout. Let me go catch him again. He's like, man, that was fun. I gotta do that again. Hey, Frankie, you wanna take a ride on one of these jigging wraps? Quite a bit fun. You go up there, you get a visit Clayton Chick, and then he puts you back down the hole. He didn't even eat me. I'm pretty lucky. Looks like he eats a lot of fish too. Whoa, here we go, here we go, just like that hyper rattle. Come on. <laughs> Up bit me again. Got him to eat it finally at 17 feet. Feels smaller. It's crazy how far they come up off the bottom. Like they're coming up 10 feet off the bottom to eat. Another just super green, green fish. Well, greenbacks, just totally different. Like, totally different. Oh, there we go. Greenback, super, super green on that one. You see the, I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera at all. It's not like this is the first time you guys have probably seen a greenback either. There's. Lots of people that make videos fishing for them. Fish in the bottom. Chase me. They like it, like, they like it fast. It's crazy. Once you get their, once you get their interest, like, they want it, like, ripping away from them, like, like fast. That one, I had to pick up lots of speed. It feels a little bit better, to be honest. 
Oh yeah, that's a nicer fish. <laughs> oh, nice! I, that is a good one right there. There's a nice greenback. Beautiful, like a nice solid 24 inch or maybe something like that. I don't know, hook just fell out, but like I said, oh, <laughs> almost lost the rod. You guys didn't see that though. Yeah, that fish wanted it so aggressive. Once I picked up speed, like it was on fire. I don't, it's, it's something I've never experienced. It just shows you, it's like, you you never know everything about fishing, right? You can always learn something. It's like, you always have to adapt to the situation and what's going on, right? Like, it's just, it's always different. I'm getting the chase again. I'm gonna try something different. If he comes to the, okay, he's coming up to here. We're gonna get him to chase this, I bet. Come on, look at that, look at that. Come on, come on, oh come on, come on, oh he touched it, didn't, he hardly touched it, hardly touched it. If he comes up again, I'll keep pulling it away from him, come on, come on, come on, you got him at eight feet. There we go, wow. Wow, I've never I've never experienced this with walleye before. Like, that was crazy. I, I don't even care that I lost him right now and I got hit in the head with the jig, but that's okay. Like, <laughs> you know, I was watching him come up. I broke my little glass bead there. I'm gonna go to a smaller jig. I watched these fish, like all day, literally come up to the jig and swim away. And if I would have clued into this sooner, that I could have grabbed my dead stick and start pulling away from them, I probably would have caught a lot more fish today, I bet. And I learned that obviously from fishing the active baits, but yeah, I'm gonna go to a little bit smaller jig here. Well, look at, I just set that jig, the dead stick out. Jeez, all this time. He's gonna come back. Yeah, he's coming back. Jeez. I can't believe I didn't learn this sooner. Well, I have another day yet tomorrow. And if uh, this isn't any, any indication of what it could be like tomorrow, wow. Like, cause as soon as I figure out what I'm doing, Easy, open your mouth, buddy. Got another fish down there. Open your mouth. Shh, 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 shh. Open your mouth. What is going on? Hook's not even stuck. Oh, there. Okay. Just twisted. Just twisted. Okay. <laughs> like, okay, just fish a jig in the minnow and pull it away from him. And it can be on like Donkey Kong, apparently. There we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's gonna come. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Come on. Oh, come on. There's another one down here too. There we go. Got him to eat it at eight feet. I got distracted by the other one down there too on the bottom right now. <laughs> Insane. Come on, I gotta get you quick. I gotta get you off quick because there's another one down there on my dead stick. I wanna get him too. Okay, get down, 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 down. Come on. Come on, bye. Oh, I thought I was gonna get a double. I really did. That's why I got rid of that other one so quick, but doesn't look like it. There was one on my dead stick. I thought I could get it chasing two, but I failed. I failed. That's just, it's honestly, it's, <laughs> I can't explain like this bite. Like it's 
It's like lake trout. It's like walleye acting like lake trout. Like that one ate it up at eight feet finally. And inhaled it. Like they're so finicky with it when it's down there. Like I understand the whole concept of like when the bait's not moving, they can identify it and they realize it's not real. They don't want to eat it when it's moving they think it's real there hence they're going to eat it right like i understand that concept i'm just not used to it not on the ice anymore as you can see but I'm just enjoying nice meal in this beautiful restaurant here and as you know for most of my fishing adventures it's like i don't ever have like a sit down meal at the end of the day and this place has a restaurant which is super handy so i'm gonna have some wings and i have a nice caesar there and i'm going to enjoy that so i still have another day of fishing We'll discuss tomorrow a little bit more about uh, rods and lures and some different techniques and whatnot. But yeah, we'll see what we can uh, get. We'll see what we can put together tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget, get inside. No, get in, get outside.